In a coordinated effort, both Oregon and Washington announced Friday morning the same date of April 3rd for ending the mask requirement in healthcare settings. That's a lot of places, hospitals on down, and covers a lot of people, from healthcare workers and patients to anyone else going through the doors. For many, um, they're greeting this announcement with happiness. Um, that this is a, a great positive step as we move on um, from COVID-19. For others, particularly those with chronic conditions or who are immunocompromised, um, they're facing this decision with some anxiety. Oregon State Health Officer Dr. Dean Seidlinger says with flu and RSV cases dropping off and COVID cases continuing a downward trend, it's the right time to drop the requirement. However, both states and local public health officials will continue the mask message. Which is that, you know, masks are re recommended for healthcare providers and patients um, in healthcare settings. We still think it makes sense. Clark County Public Health's Dr. Stephen Krager says they knew the announcement would be coming, but didn't know Friday would be the day. That seems to go for providers, too. We checked in with all the big ones and got similar responses, basically saying we're aware of the announcement and we're considering next steps with safety in mind. I asked Dr. Seidlinger if he had any sense of what providers would do. I don't because we haven't had those conversations. I think, again, giving um, a month lead time will, will give individuals um, individual um, providers the chance to um, have those conversations with their staff, um, with their leadership. Um, with, you know, um, um, the patients and consumers that they serve and make those decisions. It may be a place-by-place -place decision on whether to continue mask requirements and for who. Those sort of individual facility-level decisions, um, you know, you're, <laughs> you have to ask those facilities, and we're not, we're not sure exactly where uh, everywhere is going to land.